There is a feature right now in your ad campaign that if you don't turn off, and I'm talking about Google, LinkedIn, and Facebook primarily, because that's the platforms that I use, they all have this in common. If you don't turn this feature off, you'll get charged three times the amount of your budget, three times the amount, sometimes even more. And they won't even let you know anything about this. And did you know that there's a script, there's actually a couple of scripts out there that you can use to prevent this from happening. I'm talking about scripts that will alert you. There are scripts to stop overbidding and lots, lots more keywords, functionalities, lots, lots more. I'm going to dive into that in this video. So all I ask of you is to make sure to hit this thumbs up on this video and drop a comment down below. I put a really cool document together for you so you could add it to your collection. Um, I'm going to cover Google ads in this video. Uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, and I'm going to do it in a way that's not overwhelming so that you can digest this. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to leave those comments down below. Um, you know, I do these videos to get, yeah, I want to continue to help our community and to continue to give as much value as possible. I made a lot of mistakes advertising early on back in the days. And let me tell you, this is going to keep more cash in the pockets so that you can keep running the business and just focus on that peacefully. So with that being said, if you don't know who I am, a little bit about me, my name is Guillermo Mata. I'm the president and CEO of Red Tour Media LLC. Uh, we're a digital technology and business development company that you know does some pretty cool things. You should definitely check us out if you haven't, redtourmedia.com, come and check us out. Make sure to subscribe. When you subscribe, tap the bell icon so whenever I upload videos like this, you get notified about them first. This is all the bragging I'm gonna do in this video, I promise. Let's dive right into this. So um, I'm just gonna go to my screen here. Let's talk about this, okay? So let's go all the way up and take this a little bit at a time. So uh, turning this off before it's too late, I had my fair share of experiences. I'm not gonna read this document. If you wanna read this document, Definitely ask for it in the description is really good. But in short, um, it talks a little bit about my experiences advertising. These are some real numbers that you're looking at here. I spent a couple of thousand dollars in the space. So I talk from real life experiences, okay? Um, you know, I've seen, I, I, I've seen accounts go, and this is where I'm going to with this. I've seen accounts go from literally 100 to a thousand, five thousand dollars plus because of this feature alone. Okay, so what is this feature? What does it do? Let's talk about it. So this feature is the audience expansion feature. Okay, Google has it. I'm sorry, Google. Yeah, Google does have it. Facebook and uh, LinkedIn as well. Now, what is the audience expansion feature? You can see it here. This is for LinkedIn. This is for you know Facebook. You got it all here, and I'm gonna dive into the platforms and, and show you how to turn them off and so on and so forth. But in short, audience expansion allows your campaign to reach people beyond just their platform. So let's say you're looking to run Facebook campaigns locally, but you want to target people on Facebook only on Facebook because Facebook is where it's at. That's where the people are at. You know you would hope to be getting traffic from Facebook, right? So if you, this feature, this audience expansion feature, when you have it turned on, it'll target people beyond that. So Facebook, LinkedIn, and Google, they're partnered up with a lot of external companies that when you run your campaign, uh, and, and if they see that they have some available inventory uh, out with their partners, they'll, they'll spend your budget all on that external partner, and they won't even get you traffic from Facebook, Google Ads, or LinkedIn. So I want you to pay close attention to this. This is really, really important. You could have your budget wiped out fast. So the point of this video, Marley, is to keep more cash in your pocket so you could you know, get traffic from the actual source, okay? So let's keep moving forward here. So I left the link to this document here so you can learn more about LinkedIn and how they go about expansion. I left the link to Facebook, um, and their audience expansion process. And uh, let's let's cut all the talking. Let's go into Google Ads. This is actually my Google Ads account. Here's what I want you to do. Right now, click on your campaigns and within your ad group, right? Click on your ad group, right? And then hit on edit, right? When you get to edit, 
Go down to change targeting expansion setting. Turn this off. It's really simple. Just turn it off so that you can get traffic from Google, from within their network. Nobody else. We don't want it from apps and none of this mess. We want it from Google. Uh, now, I'm going to go into Facebook really quick. Facebook, you want to make sure that you want to check audience network because, again, they're going to target people that are outside as well and then for linkedin let me see i have linkedin open here where it where is it uh da, 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 da. so linkedin let's go into linkedin where is my linkedin i'm going to show you okay here it is right here so enable audience expansion so you want to make sure when you create your campaigns turn this off man it'll it's going to be a problem again People wonder sometimes, even prospects and clients and all that, they wonder, hey, you know, my budget has been wiped out, Google Ads is not working for me. It's not working because you haven't turned this feature off, you know? And most of you are doing an, an awesome job, and I know there's guys out there talking about that you should do it in this way and that way. Listen, when, you, when you're running campaigns, change your mentality toward this, right? You're, this is an auction, right? Think about it like you were going to a car, a car auction. You go to a car auction, you start low, and then you scale up over time, right? You scale up over time. That's what you're doing here at the end of the day. And you know, you want to keep things simple. Start with one little keyword. See what the numbers are looking at. Look at the data. At the end of the day, you're buying this data. That's all you're doing. You're buying the data. So um, again, audience expansion, LinkedIn, Facebook, Google. They all have that in common, right? Because they're in the business of, you know, they have to generate income and they want to make sure they they, get, they, they they deliver to you. They get you those conversions that they claim they're going to get you as soon as possible. And I'm not, look, I'm not trying to downplay audience expansion. It does work in some cases, but you got to be careful how you use this, especially when you're starting off, so, especially when working with small businesses. All right. So you want to prevent that from happening and so on. So uh read more about that in the document ask for it down below ask for it down below and i'm more than happy to share that with you um, request access and of course if you're getting value already on this video leave those comments down below um, another thing that i want to share with you and you can read more about this in the document uh, is uh, scripts there are a lot of scripts out there that you can scale uh, within your google ads campaigns i talk about this in the document go over to your tools Click on the drop down, go over to scripts. You could add a bunch. I left a link to the to Google where you could get these scripts. But there's a bunch of scripts out there that'll do everything from alert you when things are getting out of control, like your budget is it's 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 things aren't moving how they normally would, uh, bid modifiers and and lots, lots more. So you definitely want to make sure to, you know plug this in this is how you know we are able to control our ads at the end of the day and i want you to be able to do the same as well you know I, i've made these mistakes early in my business and again they're gonna save you cash they're gonna put cash in your pockets at the end of the day so i show you where you could turn these audience expansions off i drop screenshots of them in this document and lots lots more you know morally at the end of the day this is all about you know, preventing, you know, I've, I've had these, I've seen it happen to me, you know, back in the day. And I don't want that to happen to you and your clients because I know that could be a pain. So if you got value out of this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up, drop those comments down below. Uh, your feedback does matter. The more we continue to hear from you, the better. And quickly, I reopened all of our replays again, temporarily. So I left those links in the document as well. If you want to check that out, no pressure. This is not to you know, push this or not or whatever. This is really all about, you know, just giving you value. Again, go over to LinkedIn, turn this off. You see it right here on the screen. When you create your campaign, turn this off. When you go into your Google ads, go to your ad group, turn this off here. Same for Facebook, turn off audience network. It's gonna save you a bunch of cash, I promise, okay? So with that being said, um, I'm pretty much done here. Hopefully you got value. Don't forget to check out those scripts as well because they will alert you again. They're going to alert you when things get out of control. There's some pretty cool stuff that I share in this document. All right. I'm going to stop all the talking now. My name is Guillermo Mata and I will see you in the comments. Speak soon.